how I feel right now matters so much how I feel right now matters so much because how I feel right now is about what I'm emanating and what I'm emanating equals what I'm getting back and so how I feel is really the only thing that really matters how you feel in any moment in time is the only thing that really matters most humans don't know they have control over that because most humans we love you so much you are conditional in your now the way you feel right now has so much to do with conditions that you are living that you're comparing one to another that you are remembering that you are regurgitating that you are emphasizing sometimes unnecessarily that you are exaggerating you do you exaggerate things to make points with others who don't get it that's the thing that trips you up the most you know you're so determined that you're gonna get somebody else to see from your point of view that you talk really a lot about what your point of view is even if it doesn't serve you even if your point of view does not equal what you want oh I had this terrible experience let me tell you about it and in the telling you about it let me practice the vibration of it so that I own it so that for sure it's my point of attraction and so there is a little bit of justifying and defending going on there is quite a little bit of there is an enormous amount of defending that was funny going on that isn't necessary and we want today to help you sort of shake loose to realize that you get to feel the way you want to feel and that the conditions don't need to matter you can feel good unconditionally and when you do feel good unconditionally your point of attraction now is not about current conditions which is the only way anything can change if your point of attraction is about current conditions then there's just a regurgitation of what is so it's different faces different places but the same experience over and over again isn't it but if you can separate the conditions that are not pleasing you from the vibration that you're emitting which means you're loving unconditionally you're having clarity unconditionally you're finding alignment regardless of the condition and how are you doing that because you understand the laws of the universe because you understand your point of attraction because you understand law of attraction because you understand focus and most of all you understand that how you feel really matters and if you don't feel good you do something about bringing yourself to a place of feeling better which brings us to the most important subject that we will ever talk with anybody about and that is your path or the path your path your path your path of least resistance your path of least resistance and your path of most allowance are the same thing for a while we called this gathering the science of deliberate creation but you got too worried about that <laughs> deliberate creation the science so you'd hear yourself saying something and it would scare you you try to suck it back before a law of attraction could get hold of it you became fearful of your own thoughts and so we began calling it the art of allowing it is an art it's a practiced art the art of the art of allowing myself right here right now to be a vibrational match to what I want even if the conditions aren't showing themselves to me yet I'm unconditional I'm practicing the art of vibration about what I want even though what I want hasn't shown itself to me yet and when you get that when you get that you can control your vibrational output which means you can control what comes back to you you can control your vibrational output when you are able to consciously separate what is from what you're offering vibrationally for a long time we've been saying to you that most of you we love you so much most of you offer most of your vibration in response to what you are observing and that makes you as a people feel like you have to control what's going on out there because if you see good things you feel good and if you see bad things you feel bad so let's get rid of all the bad things even though that's vibrationally not possible this is a universe based on attraction there's no exclusion when you shout no at something you're actually saying yes to something you don't want vibrationally because there's no yes or no in your vibration there's just attention to it or not attention to it you see so when you understand the laws of the universe and you understand and this is the most important piece that you got to get for any of the rest of it to make any sense you are source energy in this physical body and the source energy part of you is active and emitting a signal 
In other words, your soul is with you all day, every day. That source energy part of you is emitting a signal that law of attraction is responding to. So when life caused you to say, I don't like not having enough money. I want more money. The source part of you began emitting a signal about more money. So every time you notice you don't have enough, since source is noticing that there is plenty, there is a discord within you that you feel in the form of negative emotion. Everything is like that. Your inner being has an opinion about everything that you have an opinion about. And law of attraction is responding to both of those vibrational focal points. And that's what equals your guidance system. So you can tell when you're on point by the way you feel, you feel great, you feel clear minded, you feel sure footed, you feel fun, eager, alive, vital, you feel light hearted and happy. You feel determined and sure footed. You feel enlivened. You feel empowered. You feel invincible. You feel sure. And if you feel anything less than any of that, that means you're focused upon something that's enough off from who you really are and what you really know to be that you are introducing resistance, which is the opposite of allowing into the equation. And so in the moments of those negative feelings, you're not practicing the art of allowing. You're not practicing the path of least resistance. You're practicing the art of resistance and the path of most resistance. So as we sort this out today, it'll be fun. We're eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you. Nothing is off limits. You will notice a perfect unfolding as we are playing together. And you'll also notice that sometimes someone who's sitting here will represent something that matters to you. And the dialogue that we will have will be just what you're looking for. So whether you actually sit in this seat and visit with us or not, it is our promise to you that we know where you are. We know what you want. We know what you have created vibrationally. We know that the life that you have lived has caused an expansion of you. And we know that the way you feel is about how well you are in any given moment in time, keeping up with that expansion. And so our job here today is to help you get hold of a piece of a thought that softens your resistance and helps you to find the path of least resistance. That's what any friend does for any friend amplifies the allowing part of the equation which means no pointing out problems no really being a sounding board for problems just getting as quickly as possible to the point of what you want and then finding the path for you of least resistance and that's the most interesting thing about life isn't it your path of least resistance isn't necessarily like anyone else's and it isn't necessarily like your own was just a minute ago in other words the path of least resistance is about from where you are right here right now to where you want to be and where you are right here right now changes for example let's say that you are employed and you are not happily employed you don't like going there you don't like being there you don't like doing what you have to do while you are there so it doesn't feel like the path of least resistance for you. So you've come to one of these gatherings and you've heard Abraham say, it's important to follow your path of least resistance. And you say, okay, I don't like being there. So I'm not going to go there anymore. And we say, well, let's talk about this before you turn in your resignation. Let's talk about if it really is the path of least resistance. In other words, we know you don't want to be there. You've just told us that you don't want to be there. But we also know that you have some financial responsibilities and some people that you are tending to maybe financially. And so just quitting that job, is it really the path of least resistance? And by that we mean, would you feel better or worse by doing that? Well, in a abrupt moment, you might say better, way better. I'd feel way, way better, way, way better. But you might have quitter's remorse because 
it really isn't the path of least resistance from where you are right now long term it is long term you might say I'm not always going to be here that's the path of least resistance long term you might say this is temporary for me that's the path of least resistance but if you say I'm leaving here today and you don't have anything else figured out that's not the path of least resistance so what happens with so many humans is that they are trying to figure out what behavior is right and what behavior is wrong and we say it sort of kind of depends on where you are doesn't it in relationship to where you want to be aren't there a lot of factors that equal whether this is the path of least resistance or a path of more resistance and really can anybody else in the whole wide world tell you what your path of least resistance is they can't can they they don't know what you've been living they don't know what you've carved out they don't know what you didn't like and what you did like and what you've created in this vibrational reality which is where your inner being stands they don't know what you have vibrationally evolved to and they don't know where you stand in relationship to it and they don't really know how you feel even though you tried to tell them often how you feel they don't really get it they've just got their distorted perspective of how you feel so as you begin taking a poll, what do you think I should do? 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 Then you give up your own guidance system and you lose your ability to sense your own path of least resistance. And then you're just kind of all over the place, making decisions that don't serve you with no long term obvious improvement in your life experience. But when you get it, that you've been carving out a very clear perspective of who you are and that you are supposed to thrive and you are supposed to feel good and you are supposed to be happy and that vibrationally speaking that non-physical part of you is and that you've got some habits of thought you do that's all a belief is it's a habit of thought it's a thought you keep thinking it's a vibration that you practice and law of attraction helps you practice it because you've been practicing this and so that's what law of attraction brings back to you to practice some more the more you observe the better you get at practicing what is and the worse you are at helping things move more to what you want so you've got beliefs and perspectives about what is that are different from what you want but are more dominant than what you want and that's what's got to change you can't keep looking at things the way you've been looking at them and feeling about them the way you've been feeling about them if there's anything that we want for you it's that you leave this gathering with a very clear intent that nothing matters more to you than that you feel good which means nothing matters more to you than that you are aware alert to your own guidance system which means nothing matters more to you than your willingness to find the path of least resistance and the path of least resistance always feels better than the path of more resistance and there's something that we'd like to say as we get started here we're not ever going to ask you to find the path of no resistance and we're not ever going to ask you to be on the path of no resistance forevermore you came into a physical body because you want to sift and sort we're talking about the path of lesser resistance we're talking about using your guidance just to tell whether this thought is beneficial or not and when you get good at this you can tell you can just feel when you're moving towards something that is of benefit to you and others and when you're not you have superb guidance because you have a cadre of non-physical energies consciously aware of you not just aware of you but knowing you knowing who you really are and holding a vibrational tone a vibrational beat a vibrational signal that represents purely who you are and because that signal of who you really are is so powerful and because law of attraction is responding to it in such a powerful consistent never ending never yielding way that creates a calling of you to that that's what your path feels like it feels like you going home it feels like you being whole it feels like you feeling good it feels like you getting what you want it feels like right path right path right path get the hang of this so path of least resistance and guidance system and momentum and law of attraction all same subject yes if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next